welcome back to my channel. Jim and I went out for the essentials. Um, we, today is Wednesday. We were out last Monday, so it's been nine days since we went shopping. Technically, we went to the Dollar Tree last Wednesday. What did we go besides the Dollar Tree last Wednesday? Before they shut us out. Remember we, oh, we picked up breakfast at Panera. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did something else, remember? Is it the day we went to Aldi? It might have been. I can't remember. Yeah, no. Did we go to Aldi? <laughs> uh, yeah, we did go to Aldi because that's where we got a lot of our um, vegetables. Okay. But anyhow, this is the first time we've been out in a week uh, shopping. Jim has actually been to work like every night, but um, not actually like out. So I mentioned it in the live stream the other day. So if you're just picking up on this haul, um, yes. Right now, we don't have any shut-in laws, just recommendations. We kept six feet from everybody. We waited for the lady on the checkout line to be her six feet away. Like we really just followed as many guidelines as we can, as we could possibly, really. Um, mm -hmm. And by the Try way- Don't say that for everybody, but- No, and by the way, I didn't bump into that lady. She drove her cart into me. I had nowhere else to go the, with the crutches. Oh, okay. So, I feel really bad because Jim was like really apologetic that ne like we weren't watching where we were going. But I was like, I was up against the cheese case. I couldn't go yeah, anywhere I else. That. Yeah, it's okay. I just was like, why are you apologizing? <laughs> but I would have anyway. Who am I kidding? Um, so we went and we got the essentials. We got a lot of things that we needed. We had a few things that were new that we wanted. There still is no toilet paper. There was a few packs of paper towels if anybody's interested. Mm -hmm. There was garbage bags. Some cleaning products, some laundry products, no but not no hand sanitizer. at the Dollar Tree. Did you look at Walmart? Yeah, there was none there either. Okay, I didn't. Oh yeah, they were cleaned out of. Where did you look? Down in the cleaning aisle with all the other cleaning products. The hand sanitizer is in with the Health and Beauty Aids. So I was like, you didn't oh, okay. come to Health and Beauty Aids with me. I was confused. But I, I also know. went for wipes. They didn't have wipes, but they did have wipes at the Dollar Tree. And you'll see that whole probably on the other channel whenever that comes up. So let's get into it. Two things we were so excited about. Well, one thing I was so excited about that somebody was talking about on a vlog recently, last live stream we did, not just recently, but the one last week. Hold that up for me. Mm. I found <sighs> Baja Zero. We were just talking about it in a live stream that Baja Blast was only exclusively sold at Taco Bell. And somebody was like, my Walmart has it. And I was like, the Zero? <laughs> And I found it. I was actually originally going to pick up a 12 pack of cans and I was like, you know what? I prefer the bottles. So, um, the plastic, either way, they're not fully recyclable. But anyway, so we did that. And then Jim said he would try, um, this. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. So I don't know what makes it different than Diet Mountain Dew, but they call it Zero Sugars now. So he's going to try it. Maybe it's different. Um, you can try it right now? Yeah. Oh. I'm kind of thirsty. Okay. Um, and then we also picked up two of his acai berry water splashes. We actually went for the wild berry, which he's been liking a little bit better, but they didn't have any wild berry. They only had lemon, boo. acai, and then orange. What'd you say? I said boo. <laughs> but because everybody likes it, that's why. It smells like Mountain Dew. Oh, it's Well, you can definitely tell it has no sugar in it, but it's not objectionable. Probably be a lot better if it was colder. Can I try it? Sure. That's better than Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah. It doesn't have that weird aftertaste. Yeah, that's wonder what they're using. Mm -hmm. I do, do. I don't know. But let's finish. And we got Mom 5 Coca-Cola 1 liters. We probably should have gotten more because they had them. So, But I will tell you a couple of things. Well, Jim's getting some more drinks. Get the tea and whatever. Um, they... We're really well stocked at the Dollar Tree too, and I guess it's because nobody's shopping. So I'm not trying to be like, Everybody's get out there and go. Up, you know. If your city, town, state, county is being stay at home, you know, like mandating you stay at home, please stay at home. If you're able to go out for essentials, make the best of your trip, and that's really what I wanted to say. Um, we we had to go get medicine and where is the pseudoephedrine by the way any pocket okay we had we had to go get medicine so while we were getting medicine we just were like okay we're already out let's get what we have to get we did such fast shopping that was yeah. another thing we were like super 
I haven't shopped that fast since I was like 28. <laughs> I think we were gone from the house maybe a total of two and a half hours. Well, that's and 15 minutes of that was sitting online at McDonald's so I can get my 99 cent iced coffee. <laughs> yeah. And then we got lunch at Subway to bring back for mom too, so. Yeah, I don't even know that we were that long. I don't even know that we were that Roughly. long. Roughly. Okay. Um, we left out of here at about like two. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's only two hours from now. Oh, okay. Yeah, what time is it? Um, 4.30, right? 4.36? Yeah. So about two hours. Yeah. Less, well, it's less if you think about it, right? Yeah, okay, true. but anyway, regardless, um, you want to share what we got? Just, a regular thing of uh, green tea with ginseng and honey. By Arizona. Yeah, by Arizona. And then we got a diet ginseng. As it slipped out of my hand. <sighs> and I don't know if it's got honey or not, but Jerry says it does. Try to find the ingredients. I'm sorry. It's all right. While she's looking for the ingredients. Yeah, salted water, honey, natural. It just doesn't have as much. Right. So this has less than one gram of sugar per serving, and that has how many? Not when you're sitting in the glasses. Shop. Can you explain to me why this one is so much lighter than that one? I this don't is 25 know. grams of sugar per serving. So I had suggested to him if he halves it. Yeah. So I was thinking about peeling off the labels, making it out both half and half so it's less sugar. That would be roughly 12 and a half grams of sugar per glass. And I think that would help. I think it would cut the sweetness of this one yeah. and help with that one. So, um,. We picked up two of the roasted garlic alfredo. If you watched the live stream last night, I was talking about thinking you had something in the pantry that I didn't, and this was what I thought I had and I didn't. <laughs> um, this is Prego roasted garlic parmesan. These, have I got two jars, and they both have less than one gram of sugar per serving, which um, they have three carbs, zero dietary fiber, and less than one gram of sugar, um, and one gram of protein. So. Um, pretty low in carb considering and you probably could make it carb free uh, if you made it at home. We picked up four cans of my favorite type of tuna. This is chunk white albacore. It's cheaper than the solid white and it's better tasting to me than the chunks, than the light tunas. Um, I like them in water, my personal preference. Um, so we picked up four cans of those. Um, I also grabbed some gum when I was at the register. I picked up watermelon kiwi, watermelon icebreakers, and Mentos. I feel like it just says gum. I feel like they don't even have Might the... Might be the Mentos uh, mix. I know, but why don't they say the name of it? That's so weird. Because sometimes when it's a mix, Sugar-free gum. Yeah, it doesn't even say like broody gum, but it's showing oranges, lemons, mangoes, pineapple... So um, I picked up that as well. And I like to chew gum if I want something sweet and I don't, sometimes I, my mouth wants something sweet and my stomach doesn't. I picked up two bottles of my laxative, but this one is different. This is the pink. Um, so it's sort of more gentle. It's gentler for, for women's tum-tums. We I don't mix that up with my algae medicine. No, you won't. <laughs> we needed more mayonnaise because I made this awesome chicken salad the other day and awesome, but um, we picked up more. This is what we've been eating, and I like it. It's uh, Kraft Mayo with olive oil. Um, growing up, we used to eat generic, so. Now, this is the one thing that you thought it was rough being stuck at home, and it was rough, like, it felt like the apocalypse. Try the light bulb going out in your refrigerator at the same time. What's in the refrigerator? I don't know. I can't <laughs> see it. Well, plus, it's like, um, now... At my old house, the kitchen was so bright. Like the house itself was so bright. The lights were so, my dad had all these giant fluorescent commercial lights everywhere that we almost never had a light bulb in our refrigerator growing up, but you could see in it. And it was a single door top, to, like, you know, freezer over refrigerator. This is a side-by-side -side we have. There's a light down at the bottom. So it's making all of this like shadow. <laughs> it's just impossible to see what's in there. So we picked this up. Now, none of them, the, the one I ordered online had a picture of a refrigerator on it. This one doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it's the right one. 
Can you turn ahead of a picture? It of does on the back. back. It says it says appliance on the back. It says medium uh, medium thread, which is the one that I was thinking um, I needed. So we picked up that uh, forty watt light bulb. I'd love if they did LEDs, you know. And the um, crafting item that I picked because I was at the store. One um, I picked up two of each can. This is. Uh, I swear I picked up the Canyon Black. So I got one Canyon Black and one Flat Black. Oh well. I picked up one Canyon Black in the flat or satin. I don't even know. You put it in the hallway already? Yeah. And then I picked up two of the Ultra Matte in the white. Um, but that's so weird. I actually went through all the black ones to find the Canyon one. And then I picked up the one behind it. Silly me. I never checked both bottles. Um, that yeah, I'll go through this real quick. We picked up some English muffins. Now, you know, I've been eating like very little gluten or trying to, and then I'm eating very little carbs, which I'm trying to anyway, but I was just in the mood for English muffin pizzas. Just in the mood. When I was growing up, we called them mishy mashy pizzas. I guess that's a comfort food thing. Um, so we picked up English muffins. I got mom original. She likes the original, um, but she can freeze them. So we'll leave two out and I'll put four in the freezer in a little vacuum seal bag. And for me and Jim, I got the 100 calories ones with eight grams of fiber, they're light multigrain. Now, a lot of times with light bread, they do add a lot of sugar. This has less than one gram of sugar per, is it per serving or per muffin? Yeah, per, per muffin. It's got 26 grams of carbs, but eight grams of, fi of uh, fiber, so it's 18 grams of net carbs, which is a lot, but not really, yeah, the cheese and stuff. Are you guys interested in seeing the Mishimashi pizzas? Did I ever share them on the channel? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. Mm. But uh, if not, let me know and I'll and I'll do that for you. Um, we also wanted bread, but they were out of sourdough of every kind. So Jim picked up this honey wheat as his alternative. I probably won't eat this. Um, this does, you know, usually wheat bread has a lot of sugar in it. This has two grams of sugar per slice. So that's not so bad, but each slice does have 12, 11 net carbs. That's a lot. <laughs> I guess it's not a lot for bread, but it's a lot for me. Um, we needed rice a -roni, so we picked up two chicken. You can do anything, you know. You can. I don't know okay, what one chicken and garlic, and one more Mexican style. Um, we had used our last box of rice a -roni when we made the chicken fried rice the other day, and I was like, I need more rice a -roni. Um, We found the last two jars of dried beef. Um, originally, we were talking about having this for dinner tonight, cream and chip beef on toast, but they're last two jars, and I'm like, maybe we'll wait. And I picked up two more bags of these. are amazing. Now, again, they're not, like, low-fat. I mean, they're not high-fat, but they're not low-fat, and they're all protein. They're zero carbs, and they're amazing. So if you've never had them, if you like barbecue potato chips, and I really like these ones. A lot of times you get a chicharrona or a pork rind, that's really hard, that almost like, oh my God, I'm gonna break my tooth. These are light and fluffy and airy, which I like. And I got two bags of those. There's another bag in here. Where are you going, Liz? Well, I put some of this one away. Oh, okay. Because basically what's left is dry goods. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, dry goods, yeah. But I'm gonna say there's a whole thing between us. I found some florals and guess what? I found them, I found them, I found them. They got the $2 lamb's ear at my Walmart finally. So if you live in the area, go for it. They had a whole bunch. Um, but I felt like I got a little less than I got in Texas. So I only picked up two. So those are $2 each. And then I found these and I thought these were so neat. These say green thistle. And they are like hard plastic, but they have like fabric leaves. And I think it's a 97 cent. Um, but, you know, I always put the prices on here. So I picked up two bunches of those, but aren't they pretty? Oh, you got all the tuna out? Okay. So, you know, we this is a, a major repurchase. We picked up two more of the lemon sesame ginger. I absolutely am in love with these. It's just what I do for that second meal without Jim. I just grab a pack of tuna and I eat it. It does. This particular one does have sugar in it because of the, the teriyaki. Yeah. It's got five net carbs per pack. Then, um, oh, let me get to this one. 
Um, then we found some of the Starkist tuna creations. They had the deli style, which is basically tuna salad already ready to go. And then Jimmy found bacon ranch he wanted to try. Hmm, that sounds good. These have two, this, have, this has one net carb, the bacon ranch. And then he found this. Well, we found it together. <laughs> 18 grams of protein per serving, ready in two minutes. It's a teriyaki tuna bowl with white rice. So it's got the tuna up top. It's got the rice down here now. He normally says he doesn't like warm tuna, but you're definitely gonna give it a shot. Mm. Yeah, cause maybe. And then we were needed taco shells because we have all these really great wraps, but, oh, sorry. It's all right, my fault. Um, I said to Jimmy, let's try those. They look like, they look like the kind that the Mexican people would eat, like authentic tor tortillas. You get 12 taco shells and they're only like $1.54 for 12 taco shells. But since I make my homemade seasoning and we still have taco sauce left over, we, only, we didn't need a whole kit. I'm putting them back in Oh, oh sure, okay, sorry. So for your paint, I'll just... Okay, and the medicine. Yeah. I picked up two boxes of the Equate brand menopause support because I don't wanna have to go out again in a month. If I don't have to, let's put it that way. Um, so I just was like, let me just grab a second box. I also picked up double amounts of laxative. I didn't, wouldn't normally need 200 laxatives, by the way. Um, well, the one thing I didn't pick up was more Metamucil. Picked up a bag of cuties. They were $3 a bag. They looked good. I love cuties. Uh, I know that we talk about how much fruit, fresh fruit and that kind of stuff. I also picked up strawberries, but I think they're in the cold bag. Mine. Oh, you want to do that? Okay. Is this all you're doing that? No, yeah, do all that. No, you can do it. No, I'm it's just no, your bag. It's your stuff. Well, not all of it. Yes, it is. That's all yours. Did no, you see what they you... were? Uh, yeah, they're mine. Okay, yeah. now that I've seen what they are, nobody can have them but me. I'll share the eggs. Yeah, do the eggs. They were limiting one eggs per person, and they had we got the 18 count because the guy was moving them. I was like, are you getting rid of those? And he's like, no. He goes, but they do have the 36, which is like the two the two 18s wrapped together. First of all, I don't really have room for that. Second of all, we bought them at Lisa's house, and they were a lot broken. So we just picked up 18 more eggs. But my refrigerator doesn't really have room for this, so we're going to go ahead and transfer it into old all these cartons that we've been saving. So. Yeah, because th that in the back of the thing, the door's got room. Yeah. So I think that'd be, more. yeah, so that'd be perfect. All right. For those who like Peeps, Peeps fans, um, and if your kids like watermelon, hold them back. Or sour. Watermelon Peeps. Right? All the people like sour stuff too, right? I don't know if they're going to be sour or not. It says it. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's sour. I didn't read that part, but. Oh, but sour watermelon yeah. Peeps, right? Mm -hmm. Watermelon peeps, period. Oh, Come on. Good. Well, you like sweet and sour, so I bet you the sour probably really cuts down on that marshmallow sweetness real like a lot. Yeah, true, probably. So these weren't 75 cents, but the M&Ms and other stuff was. All okay. that other candy was on clearance. Well, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. These weren't, though. These were regular cuts. Had to get them. Oh, that's upside. Nope, that's, no, that's right. Side up. I'm just reading it backwards just in the hold camera. It up. Yeah, there you go. But had to get two of them. Gotta have my chocolate fix. I mean, if I wanna be in the house with this person, I need it. Jerry. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jim's in the other room. The bottle. Mountain says Dew. mead. Oh, that stuff. So I grabbed then, you three of these. I grabbed yeah. him three of these. I didn't even know, I thought they were peanut butter until I just looked at the package, but she grabbed three hazelnut spread M&Ms. For the Nutella lover who doesn't want to have the bread. And they were on clearance for 75 cents, which I was like, that's why I picked up three. Normally I would just have gotten him my package, but. And Jerry saw this and decided we both, we both like Whoppers. We both like Hershey's. Hershey's bar with Whopper in it? And that was on clearance for 75 Come cents on. too. So I was like, let's try it for 75 cents, right? I know, I know a lot of you were probably sitting there going, oh, you guys don't need all that junk food. Well, you're right, we don't, but um, in a time of crisis, we have to have something to keep <laughs> ourselves from going. <laughs> right, chocolate releases endorphins. Endorphins make people happy. So does exercise, but we won't go there. Exercise? Come on, What's we have that? one more bag. I don't have a treadmill. <laughs> Are you doing oh that? Oh my gosh. It's heavy. Can you um, get it? You want no. each to take half? 
No. You think you can? Yeah, do yeah. It? Oh God! I go my leg. Do you want me to put it on my lap? No. Yeah, and you okay. can open it up. Oh. So now we're gonna end with the cold stuff because we used to begin with the cold stuff, but now we end with the cold stuff so we can shut the video off and go right and put it away. I don't know why he put them in there, but <laughs> me neither. I was wondering what happened to them. Um, this is my two pounds, three pounds. I don't know. I needed onions, and now mm. everything smells like onions. No. Nope. Oh, what are you smelling? Strawberry. Oh, I got three pounds of yellow onions. Strawberry. I got a pint of strawberries. My sister Alicia said a really good low keto snack is just to dip this in peanut butter. No, strawberries, dip strawberries in cream uh -huh. cheese, whipped cream cheese maybe. But I have sugar-free Cool Whip and I like to dip them in sugar-free Cool Whip. So I was like, yep, I'll have that. Oh no, she said, that's what she said, 87% cacao chocolate. You know what we forgot? We only got one stick left of it. Kerry Gold? Mm-hmm. Oh. I just, I just remembered it. I wanted mozzarella cheese because there's so many recipes I want to try that have mozzarella cheese. This is the mozzarella, mozzarella. cheese that they sell here. Sorry. It's well, by Crystal all... It's by Crystal Farms Dairy Company. It's low moisture part skim mozzarella, which I'm really supposed to have whole milk mozzarella. But um, I got it and I also picked up a shredded if you want to show me the shredded. Um, <laughs> Because we, I got, I grabbed the shredded. Now, if you're doing low carb, you really shouldn't grab the shredded because they actually like put cornstarch in there to separate it. No, it, it says two grams of carbs per serving, but to keep from sticking from together. Yeah. But since we're having pizza night, I was like, let's just grab this, and I'll grab this to do for recipes. And then I picked up more cream cheese, but I forgot to get the pudding. Um, this is the two pack of Great Valley cream cheese. I figured I'd try Great Valley cream cheese in some recipes. I picked up one of my favorite taco blend cheeses. The last time we got it at Aldi, um, not the last time, the last time I bought taco cheese was from Aldi, not the last time we went to Aldi. Um, but this is like my favorite thing to season, it's seasoned cheese. This has two grams of carbs per serving as well. But a serving is a third of a cup. It's a lot of cheese. Mm. We picked up mom some real cheese Texas toast. We were gonna have pasta night and I thought that'd be really nice to have with it. And then we picked up another bag of these fully kit, fully cooked. Are you sure that these are the kind that we've been eating? The only ones I saw. No, no, that's okay. I just was asking, I'm gonna open them, which I know, forgive me. Oh yeah, okay. Cause they kind of looked on the package and kind of felt usually we get them and they're so bumpy like their chicken is like you know from from being like real chicken fried but i couldn't tell if this was like doesn't that almost look like a pressed chicken almost like a giant chicken nugget type of thing but we got more of these we love these 25 ounces and they're good in the air fryer as long as you follow the directions <laughs> mm. yay chicken they had chicken, they had beef, they had pork. They had chicken, they had beef, they had pork. Um, I was so excited because the, when you know when we went a couple of weeks ago, they didn't have really any meat. I picked up my creamer. I got two of the sweet Italian, Italian sweet cream and one of the caramel macchiato. So three of, them, three of them must last uh, like two weeks because I still have a little bit left of one, right? Mm -hmm. So our three must last two weeks. That must be like how the how it goes. We also picked up one of our filters. This is Filt Treat in the uh, Elite Allergen, which basically covers everything. As you can see here by the picture on the back, it tells you everything that it covers. Um, so we just wanted to get this to replace what we had. Is that everything? Uh, yep. Oh, that's everything. That's all from Walmart. All right. That's everything from Walmart. So we're gonna wrap it up because it's been really long. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing what we got at Walmart for our essential shopping. <laughs> Quarantine provisions. Is your stomach making noise because it's hungry? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go eat lunch. And okay, if you trying to shut it up. 
And as always, you guys take care. Actually, before I wrap it up, um, if you guys are interested, Jim has a, a channel where he uh, vlogs and does some Bible study and just chats and catches up and does some hauls. And his a link to his channel is in the bottom of the description box down below. Basically, next to the title of this video is a little tiny upside down triangle. Click on it and you scroll all the way down. In the description box, you'll also find links to all my social media and also links to my other channel as well. So if you are interested, go ahead and check it out. And as always, you guys, take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.